that you know school, schools have closed uh, there is like a long holiday like seven weeks holiday wanting to know how are you spending your holidays you as a parent how are you helping your, your child to spend this seven weeks holiday and we have one parent eh? <laughs> one parent I mean to me I have a message my big sister actually and uh, she's watching us from uh, from Kakamega General Hospital so hi everyone at Kakamega General Hospital and I send a big shout out to you and I come to talk at you and there are other parents also who are sharing their, their experience and what they are helping their children do during this, this time. Our Facebook page is at Y254, Instagram and Twitter at Y254 channel. So keep the comments coming because today Leo Tumebarikiwa to have an amazing guest to be also talking to the parents and sharing and advising us him as a chaplain he's so many things mm -hmm. Frederick Beuchi is, is here with us in studio you have so many things you're a chaplain <laughs> you're a reverend actually mm -hmm. let me just introduce you the right yeah, way Re Reverend Frederick Beuchi right yeah. uh, of St. Peter's Methodist Church and also mm -hmm. you're an epilepsy awareness activist mm -hmm. and you're a chaplain mm -hmm. you have so many things yeah. did I introduce everything or, or you introduce yourself again <laughs> I mean I think that's all mm -hmm. but I think it's good to also for people to know I'm the national secretary for the national epilepsy board Wow uh, yeah I'm serving my second term mm -hmm. and I think it has been a good journey so far but today we are here for a different thing altogether. I know it's a different <laughs> thing altogether, but these things that you're doing, epilepsy, CG, or oh, Kuna Battle, the new drug, yeah, and the CG yes. chaplain, you're a reverend, you're so many things. I want to know what pushed you to do all these things. Passion, you're talk about epilepsy. Yeah, well, uh, epilepsy comes from a point of me being a caregiver for a sister oh. with epilepsy. Oh. Yeah, uh, she was diagnosed when she was two years old. She's now about 15 years, and it has been a journey of seeing her through the treatment and medication and things like that. That can weigh someone down, especially emotionally, financially. Oh, yeah, sure, Where do you draw your support? Where do you draw your courage and you know resilience never to give up on, the, on your sister? Yeah, I, I think it, it narrows down to being a firstborn. Oh. I don't know who else is a firstborn. <laughs> Me. <but laughs> Me. <laughs> you know. we, are all, we are all firstborns here. Ah, nice. so, you guys, so you guys can do it. Yeah. I mean, automatically, you know when you are a firstborn, it feels like you are, a, you are the second parent. Unaona, yeah. uh, yani the parents are there, but unaona wakisha exit tu kidogo, ama kama wako kwenye environment, then you automatically assume the responsibility. Mm -hmm. So that's why for me, I felt like for a situation like this, atakama parents wako pale, I should be in the forefront. Now that the moment I started to take, you know, the bold step ahead of seeing how I could get help for my sister. By the way, even the Usaidizi likuja ju, ata wazazi walikuwa mejaribu, what they could, you know, have done then, but I kwa wanapata the light of day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I draw inspiration from there. All right. True. Yeah. Good work you're doing. Yeah. Commend you for that. And battle the new drug. You ni nini? <laughs> oh yeah, so wow. So battle the new drug that's that's my actually it was my research paper in mm -hmm. campus mm -hmm. and I was addressing the whole issue of uh, pornography addiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So battling the new drug it's a whole like um, you know what I came to discover when I was doing my research paper around that. Actually my research paper had been titled um uh uh, uh, pornography disintegrates family lives in churches so just trying to just trying to look at the link you know you have so many people going to church young people and they are hooked into this thing but just because it's not like bang you know somebody could have been on it yesterday night but they come here on church alafu bado wana to lay kwa 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 praise and worship because it's not written anywhere yeah, it's not written anywhere so yeah. that's why it's easy for even the, the people that go to church mm -hmm. who are even struggling with it to hide it True. even the parents cannot tell that their children are going through that yeah. and you know it's good. yeah mm -hmm. mm -hmm. even as we talk about how you know students mm -hmm. can utilize their time during the holiday mm -hmm. in this era of you cannot really control a child to um, tell them don't use a phone. 
nyumba kwanza kabla ushift in unaangalia kama it's connected with wifi <laughs> unachik <laughs> moja, moja. Eh, ukiingia kwa ukiingia kwa restaurant unaitisha password kabla meni unachik <laughs> yeah so in that kind of an environment at wezi to skip that conversation because mm. it's it's everything that we access through the phone and internet and all mm. other things yeah mm. so that is where the whole thing came about um a research paper i kind of threw vizuri mm. nikasema ah apart from it ni patie tu max za za campus acha nione kama it can become a program mm. so i've been going places just talking to people giving them a platform to to come out and say this is what i'm struggling with it's it's a very secretive thing so when you get somebody to talk about it you know that's just one way of getting out of it mm. yeah and this uh, this masturbation has consequences deep consequences but before we get to that you know yeah. before that <laughs> yes, you are a chaplain right yes, and i yes, know yes. you being a chaplain you've interacted mm. with so many young people mm. so many students uh, 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 how has it been for you kwanza right now we know students are at home yeah. children's parents are wondering how to do afanya aje na chakula ya chakula imeenda juu Nicole, it's, mm. it's an interesting thing altogether. Mm. I think I, I, I joined into full ministry uh, with the Methodist Church this year. Mm. And my first assignment was to be assigned as a chaplain for, you know, the Methodist institutions. And these include colleges, high school, primary school. So I get to interact with a lot of students in my daily work, like every day, all the week. If I'm, if I'm not meeting them during devotions in the morning, I'm meeting them during guidance and counseling. I'm meeting them in the classes because uh, other institutions have been given classes to, to teach life skills. So it's conversations of how they can run their life and also building them spiritually. Uh, and from that point, even the rest of the teachers also have it easy when they go to and now teach other lessons because unapata student ambaye amekuwa inspired to see life in a different way so hata kama hii subject ni ngumu kuna hiyo approach anakuanga nayo kwa sababu ushamwambia the reality of how life is out there kama ni math lazima ufanye juma maisha huko nje pia bado ni mahesabu so yeah and it has been an interesting journey you see when you get an opportunity to inspire young people um, and give them a reason to build up on their ambitions and dreams zenye wako nazo kisha baadaye ukuja hapa nje uone ah they have made it you know you can count yourself in being part of that success mm. so i'm i'm really enjoying like the whole thing as it's really happening the yeah time of your life true <laughs> number one okay being in this kind of a look and bado uko miangu i go to school unaingia kwa darasa hivi wanafunzi wengine hata ni warefu kuliko unapata and then i still i'm still in that bracket also of you know being youthful so what you are trying to tell them ni wajua assumption yao ni wakiona mse ameva this way wanajua ah huyu huyu ni mbaba huyu ni mtu ashakula maisha but you are trying to interact with them at a level where ah wanaona mbona hata lugha natumia tu ni lugha yenye pia si tunatumia unaona so wanasema wanasema ah so somebody can attain this kind of um, you know level when they are still young wanakuwa wepesi sana kukusikiza kwa sababu mwingine akishaingia hapo na yule ni, ni mzee kwanza anawaanzia na maombi then the next thing anawaambia dhambi muache unaona <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 it's 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 kama goti ya kwa dhambi ni mbaya na hayo mazungumzo hayaziisha <laughs> kabla watu wajaokoka unaona <laughs> yeah so you you stop from making it that way and you make it a conversation una relate na wao tunaongea tu lugha yenye wanaelewa sasa hiyo kuongea lugha yenye wanaelewa talking their language and going down to their level and interacting with them i'm sure she pata case a case scenario of a student mnyaka kwambia ka kitu hadi ukashtuka well do they confide in you or right they do kwanza wanakuwa wepesi sana kwa kujieleza 
teachers wenyewe wanapata cases na wanasema eh hey, chaplain i want you to see this student this student in this class or mtu mwenye ako uh, ako class fulani because they feel mm. wanaweza ku open up rahisi sana mm. kwangu kuliko huyu mwalimu mwenye anamuona daily 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 na yeye anamfundisha chemistry hasa anashindwa issue niko nayo na chemistry zina zina ingia have to build trust kwanza mm. yeah. ndio sasa ikakuwa easy uh, for the flow these students are so open open uh, with somebody who is more stranger to them than mtu mwenye ame ame wazoea cases ni mingi ai cases ni mingi cases ni mingi but sasa you are home wale wa school na primary no guys are limited to only tuition do you in the library do your assignment do your homework stay in the house what other things that can these students interact can with yeah. that is very constructive at parents wa kiona na fryer yenyewe these students are doing good thing yeah kwanza mimi naweza taka nianze from a point of waelewe everything that you do now that you have this long holiday ikuwe na an attachment of it it is honoring god it is giving respect to god na ndio wafike hiyo level kwanza kwa kama mzazi unaona mm-hmm. mzazi ndio ako na jukumu kubwa sana ya kuhakikisha kwamba huu mtoto zile vitu anafanya mm-hmm. zinaendana mm-hmm. na uh, in proverbs 22 uh, 9 inasema train, train your child in the way they should grow exactly and then wakikuwa wakubwa they will not Return, leave yeah. that th- those ways so teachers wa may play role yao for those two uh, months It's interesting kwa sababu uh, uh, calendar ya yeah, education payment iki change. Naam. So at this point in time wamemaliza an academic year. So wakienda kurudi wanaenda to the next class. Mm. Unaona? Mm. So form 4 wanafanya exam saa hii wale wako form 3 wakirudi pia nao wana prepare kufanya exam by December. Mm. So number one, as a student kwanza ni ukwe na hiyo kwa akili ya kwamba This holiday by the time it's over and I'm back to school I'm getting into another level. Mm. So already when it comes to your studies unajua hii kitu ya mchezo. Mm. If you are form 3 no, unajua next time unaenda form 4. Na form 4 hatutahesabu miezi 10 ndio fanye exam. They only have 7 months. And that is a short period. Oh, no, no, that is a very short period. Very short period. Mm. So kabla ufungwe macho umekuwa holiday na umelala hiyo time yote ukifungua <laughs> tricky <laughs> trick sana very tricky yeah. unapata mm. alafu sasa cbc nayo imekuja na story ingine unaona kuna watoto wenye sasa wakirudi ku transition to the next class mm. wanaenda junior secondary yeah, there's a lot of concussion a lot <laughs> unaona mm. so uh, when you talk about utilizing your holiday well yes. uh, number one Uh, we are trying to tell the parents first if there are things that you have helped or trained your child to grow in is on your vitu unafa you put a lot of emphasis in if we are saying about utilizing time well first is honoring god and respecting god and making sure all the activities that are happening are geared towards honoring god <laughs> then kwenda uh, church yani uh, yosi option alafu ku pray hiyo si option these are the basics and then reading the word of god mm-hmm. yani that's not an option mm-hmm. these three things yani should be the basis of anything else that follows after that mm-hmm. no, no. Mm-hmm. we can talk about tuition and giving them an opportunity to continue with their studies while they're at home again hiyo pia si kitu ya ku, ya kuongelea ya kusema we should do or not do. Mm-hmm. I've, i've been from uh, i've come from schools where wakati wa kifunga nimeona umepatiwa vitabu wakaambiwa this is what you are supposed to go and cover mm. even by the time you come, you come back, back. Yeah. so kuna hiyo time kwanza ya kusoma a child kama mzazi amesha report nyumbani ametulia hiyo weekend kesho mande mwambia kupatie timetable ya vile amejipanga na lesson zile anafa <laughs> tricky oh, no, no. And, 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 tricky for a teenager eh, na sikwambie ah it's because next time next next time naenda kuanza a new class yeah. every school mimi najua wamepatiwa either assignments ama wamepatiwa hata vitabu za hiyo next class they are supposed to go and they have been told what to do 
nataka na maujaambiwa and you have those books please make sure umechukua time ya kusoma some topics ume summarize ukienda uko way ahead of time mm, you should be ahead no. of, of the so, teachers yeah i know i have not touched uh, anything uh, on leisure and stuff like that at this point <laughs> lakini but you summarize you summarized it that yeah. you, everything you do give exactly. honor to god kwa sababu hizo ndo basic mm. and then hapa mbele there are so many other things that are happening mm. kuna camps unajua like i know uh, the kenya student christian fellowship mm. wanakuanga na camps mm. by the time from fozo amemaliza exams e april kuna camps zitaanza students waende wafundishwe neno la mungu it's just for a week mm. but a very interactive program mm. bado pia not because you are at home upati hiyo time ya kujibuild spiritually unapata so unaenda huko unapatana na a lot of lessons that you can learn mm. apart from camps zenye ziko organized that way from your local church pia i know there are yes, programs there are so that many have programs been set.